really no. I think this is the worst. I think this is the worst possible matchup for Burts, to be honest, because they just really don't have. Despite despite Ducky losing in the final with Orcs against Bretts, I just feel like there's there's no there's no angle for Bretts in this matchup whatsoever. Um, he's got mighty blow, a dodge, a dirty player, twelve men's. He's two and zero. Oh. Let's see what happens. Well, the stats the stats say they're not that bad against lizards, because at least they've got like, you know, they've got wrestle for the one Ds and 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 they they've got block obviously, they've got movement to hunt down and obviously because, I guess it was better for them when they got when they got tackle on everybody because there was no other skills, but they get they get fast tackle don't they to fight lizards, um, but yeah obviously lizards are a horrible matchup for every. Every near rookie team. Yeah, uh, Kemri. But Kemri are still a bit shit, whereas Orc Orcs are just a better team than Kemri, aren't they? Like, Kemri's an awful matchup for Chorfs. Because Chorfs just cannot deal with the strength five at all. Brett's can at least try to get lucky and what fucking one dice the, the fucking Tomb Guardians, can't they? Like, not one dice, minus two dice, but with the chance of a, a thing. Receive and go for the draw. Or kick and try to be a hero. I think receive and go for the draw here. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lame. Hero, lame. I don't know. I don't even understand how you stop orc scoring. Man, I don't know how you score against them either. So maybe kicking would have been better. Destronov. Destronov's all in. I've got to set up for the quick snap surf, I guess. It doesn't matter where he goes because he'll be doing the blitz. But I guess he can go there. And if it's the quick snap, he goes there. He blitzes in. And surfing. I mean, you've got to go for a quick snap surf if it's on, haven't you? I think. No, it's on my bit of paper, isn't it? Don't go for surfs. It's actually on my piece of paper. Let's not go for surfs. It's not allowed. No fun allowed. Didn't get the quick snap. Good. <laughs> Going great already.
I mean, he got himself into trouble anyway, didn't he? Even without even trying to capitalise on it. Jim <laughs> Powell. No one's out the window with birds. Anything goes. <laughs> bees, bees, bees. Hopefully, I guess now. <laughs> I wonder if just a random noob is notorious noob. If it is, this game's going to be very hard. Very rarely take leader, to be honest. Come on, trip and die. Alright, you bastard. Might you blow that side down black out that side means it could make a little push around here. Not much of a push though. No, oh, is that the leader? Oh, leader's there, okay. Leader seems pretty safe there. You'd really like to pick it up this turn. Get over here. Good lad. <laughs> what was the what was the angle? I didn't I wasn't even I didn't even notice. I was watching it though. Pretty annoying that he's getting the mighty blow hit every turn, can't stop it.
And obviously he's herb derping with the black orcs. Who wouldn't herb derp with black orcs? Herb derping with everyone. Herb derp. Peace, peace, peace. No, I'm not going to get the knockdowns. Probably that's what it. That's what it is. No, oh, push him. Push him here. No, I guess it's okay. Breaks. What a great turn this has been. <laughs> miss Clift. I don't even know if I did miss Clift, but went wrong fucking square anyway. He's going to get surfed. So is he. I guess I care more about the uh, thing anyway. Could have rerolled that, I guess, maybe. At least it takes two players to surf a peasant. That's not the end of the world, is it? Oh, it's not both the surf. I think he should have done because I'm not doing anything spectacular. Fendor lost Magyarkan, lost, uh, didn't play good, didn't roll good, and that was all she rolled. Fen's pretty powerful, isn't it? That was. <laughs> Yeah. You know, people disfend, but it's invaluable really when when you when your armor seven agility two guy gets crushed by somebody. Mm, 
look like I can almost go back to this side now. I was thinking to push down here, but he has got more stuff this side. I think I'm coming for a one dicer here. Strength force pretty good. I mean, I could have been relying on Dauntless, I guess. Oh shit, he's blocked it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After GFI. Predictable. Outrageous. I just want to give a free 2D do I? But then on the other hand, he's just going to use one guy to base both of them anyway. So this might be worth it. Hello, Tony. Oh, unlucky. Uh, small man's pack team is not the reason why it is dead. Um, it was as bad a min max as it could be at one point, but then he he made like a legend ogre on it for shits and giggles. But it's why it was dead. Is he going to double GFI for the one day on the ball? This is what I like to call the zug tactic. Oh, it's only one GFI. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Not sure I like GFI for one dice on the ball, like, personally. Well, I mean, I am sure I fucking hate it, but there you go, he's doing it. Yeah, but it's more that he kills the new teams all the time, you know. It's because it was designed to play starting teams, so it made it really hard to start a team in the box because of small man. Which is a bit shit, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, could surf a black orc and not go forward this turn. It's pretty hard to go forward anyway. Surfing the black orc might not be easy either. But I'm gonna try. Oh fuck. Well that's not good. Of course there's no surf of the black orc. Of course not.
Don't go for serfs. It's even on this sheet. I knew not to do it. I fucking knew. And I tried anyway. crazy he's occupied anyway whether this is a power or not so like with a skull or not even Invincible armor nine, yeah, I mean that's fair enough, isn't it? Yeah, but Niggle Blister, that, that was how it was like, though, you know? That was before that came in. That came in because of Small Man. It would have been a lot easier just to ban Small Man than, than come up with all these ways of, like, trying to change the box or whatever, have rules in the box to stop him, just ban him straight out. Oh, man. It's not a Zunk here, it's just, it's just banter, isn't it? It's just banter. The, the, it's because it's because of the game where Zunk lost to Toad, and it was uh, it was not the most wasn't the best game in the world. I think we should give Zunk a break. <laughs> He's come a long way from rolling a hoop down the street <laughs> with a stick. Dunk versus Zod. Yeah, he's getting banged on here. It's, I mean, it's just hard, isn't it? He's got more strength. He's got more mighty below. He's got more armor. He's playing pretty well as well. I wonder if it is notorious now. He's playing pretty well. But it's the stuns and that are killer, aren't they, here? Three stuns this turn as he knocks down the whole team. It is pretty bad. We're looking at a potato now. V9. The problem is this is shithead, isn't it? go here now that he's there go 
go there. He can't really get to. Oh no, he's got black off there. Go here. If you box him, it doesn't matter. But I'm relying on a dodge then. Because you could just bop him down and run around. He could dodge away. And double GFI but still couldn't cover. Don't really rely on a dodge but I don't think there's any anything else that can be done apart from relying on a dodge. Didn't pray to Ducky. Phew. Wow. Got away with one there. We really needed that dodge to work. I just can't use up all of Ducky's powers. So, um. No, oh, I could have gone there, maybe. Next, don't need a GFI here. Yeah. But it puts him in the right neck of the woods, doesn't it, to do something next turn? You can really slam into the front of the fucking thing now, but never mind. We said about UK BBL the better. <laughs> right, maybe he's got a GFI once to get away from the Black Hawks. That would have probably been worth it, wouldn't it? But then the Lionels would have got us. So a double GFI would have got us away from the Lionels and the Black Hawks. But then the cost of maybe just failing. Wrestle being worse than block yet again. Great. Maybe I should have just carried on the strength four, eh? That would have probably been the play. Like knowing that this knowing that the game was probably gonna break down. Well the drive. I think I'll just take the score here if he gives us it. <laughs> that was a bit shit, wasn't it? Oh, and just take the score, eh? Seems reasonable. Well, when I say take the score, it's not really take the score. Can only chain one of them away. To block him, blitz him. 
hand off to safety. Could blitz him and hand off to safety. That seems a good, good shout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI handoff, and then he's safe, isn't he? Maybe I don't even hand off. Maybe just run over here. I just think there's so much payoff in the G GFI handover and then run in the corner is is just too good, isn't it? Totally safe. There's no point even doing anything with him. <sighs> Smallman was a guy on, on Fumble who basically attempted to kill the black box by just mono activating a, an incredibly low TV min max. Chaos Pack team, um, and everyone hated him. Basically, spoiled Black Box. Could have he could have pushed that Black Orc and uh, based the ball. I think maybe wouldn't have been easy though. Uh, it would have been relatively easy, I guess. Phew. The speed, the speed of Brett's was actually an advantage, who would have thought. He did a good job of shutting down that, that sideline though. Mind, he needed the uh, he needed the stun to shut it down and got it. That didn't even take any cars. That drive, that's fucking crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Not even going to try a two dice thought without a reroll, obviously. Grinbert. Halfway to, halfway to guard. Yeah, it's it's not so bad now, but if you look in the history of like some of the games it was uh it was brutal at one point. It just hovered at like, you know, one thousand and fifty with like a claw pommer or two or whatever. You go stotty. You get a break. A chance to avoid rocks. <laughs> Smelly boots and pants. <laughs> oh man. Any of these got any points? Zero. Save this. There's two. Yeah, it's not like he was unique. 
but um, he was the most he was the most pro like you know he was the most active so he was synonymous he also took a long time to do his turns you know yeah no bulls chose with a couple of pommers that's what I had Jelly but even that's like a fair amount of TV um, I, just, I don't know I mean I, that's what I did it was disgusting but um, it ne it was more TV than the pack and I liked having a bit of reliability with it, you know, with like some rerolls and stuff. But yeah, packed. Somebody there was Zai Tafopios or something had eleven beastmen with four claw pommers. He was the first person really to exploit min maxing, as it were. And he didn't even have that good a record, but he did have four claw pommers um, at fourteen hundred TV, which is obviously pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean, he was he was terrible. The reason that everyone hated Small Man was because he was fucking awful at Blood Bowl. And every turn was four minutes, even when you had three players and he had 11 still. And uh, it was pretty annoying. I think just a random noob is the best, the best coach I've played in, in weeks. Probably. I think he played that pretty well. But then, I mean, he did have Orcs against Bretts. But still, I th still think he played it pretty well. The only thing he did was leave open that hand off to the... to the uh, wrestler, didn't he? Hello, Pedro Jack. Why can't everybody be intelligent, like me? <laughs> oh, that's good. Hello, Jelly Hill. <laughs> I've got nothing to apologise for. I did actually apologise at the time. Because I said it's funny that, you know, after all the times I've been no champ of mine all this, I'm finally going to name a player Jelly Hill, but then, you know... Sextus, Sextus Burt was just too good not to have, wasn't it? It was literally too good not to take Sextus Burt. Not, not my champ was it? Hashtag not my champ was genius though by Shawnee. Shawnee has some good ideas, doesn't he, for uh, for things? So I, I saved it as setup one, didn't I? And it didn't save the uh, the rule of five setup. Just didn't save in the other game. Oh, that's good. Um, right, let's go for a rule of five. I can't believe that he hasn't even made a KO in the whole match. That's fucking crazy. But of course, now it doesn't matter because had the have, like I hate that about reserves that you know you get that extra bit of reliability. They don't do anything the first half, and then you can make three removals of t turn one, couldn't you? even one removal. And then the reserves are just never worth it. Basically, are they? They're never well, they're very rarely worth a TV. Yeah, Chaos Edition, yeah, there's... Because some people have said that the corn have been in, in since the start kind of thing. So, um... And people have said various things about Zinch and Slanesh as well. Fumble hasn't given pack there or climbing. Wow, that's pretty crap.
Yeah, they were found fouling, yeah. But that was just that one time, right, Nickel Glitzer? In another time, you could have started the second half with 11 players and four on the bench, and then they make three removals on the LOS, and you're like, oh. <laughs> the the uh, packed get one orc lineman. Um, well, an orc fucking renegade or whatever. Um, but he's an orc lineman with uh, mutation access in addition to the others. In the new rules, in the new, in new tabletop. In Blood Bowl 2016, um, packed to get. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Jelly deals. Plus, I've got my bit of paper. So, uh, thank you, Imperator Augustus. Yeah, I'm trying. You know, I'm trying to get more organised and everything, and pay attention to the bit of paper. <laughs> I hate wrestle, by the way. There you go. So now he makes the cars, and because it's if it had been on turn eight, it'd have been all right. But because it's uh should, should I just take the dead or not? I'm just gonna take this for now. That was the five, I shouldn't let the five one be blitzed. This should have been the five one. Orc Lino with mutation sounds amazing to me, to be honest. Um because you know you just put them on the LOS, can't you? <laughs> It'd be like Jelly Bird. <laughs> if he fails this pickup here. Oh man. We can go for the fucking stupid trying to split the team move. Let's go for the fucking stupid trying to split the team move, eh? Oh god. Needs to be a pal. Greed it. Not even good, is it? I've just realised. Not elves. She fails the pickup, though. Yeah, claw, yeah. Block claw. It's alright, isn't it? He's armor nine on the LOS. He's better he's better than a fucking Marauder. Like the Marauder's only better after the Marauder has block mighty blow claw or whatever or block guard. But even then a block guard armor eight is no like you know, it'd be nowhere near it. Like, obviously if he had strength. If if the Orc Lino had strength, he'd just be amazing and way better than the Marauders. But even then, without it, he's still really good. Man, if he fails the pickup here. Oh, God. He's in range. Destronov, ready. He can't even pick up a handoff and be gone, can he? He can. 
you can pick up GFI twice and be like screened off. He can, he, is, he, can, he can hand off. Okay, he can hand off. Fair enough. But still, if he fails the handoff, now he's got he's got the pick up and he's got a GFI to hand off as well. I wouldn't have gone for the handoff, like no need, is there? He's failed. He's failed. Oh baby. No, fuck's sake. Didn't have to fail the first one, did I? Like, I know he's failed four pickups in a row to give us this chance, but... Alright, sorry, Ducky, Lord of Burts. I did not pray to you before I instigated that move. I apologise. I also apologise to Fashbinder, Lord of Safe Moves First. I shall now remedy the Safe Moves First situation as well. Good chance of failing, failing now, isn't there? After he's on the fucking first roll. Two, two GFIs to even hit. Maybe it's better to not even pick it up. <sighs> Night just base him. Go here. Because if I fail the GFI, it's horrible. If I fail the pickup, it can go in the crowd. And then maybe just base him. Hmm. Then if he dodges away. Still not easy for him, is it? Yeah, maybe there would have been good. I think not basing him it doesn't do that much because if I was like here, he could go one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, I think I had to base him. I don't think I was doing it much by going here. Or here, or here, or here, or anything. I think I had to base him. He is in a lot of trouble. I mean, he's failed four pickups in a row, which is pretty ha pretty unlucky, isn't it? To be fair. If I'd had the re-roll, going for a 224 would have been alright, wouldn't it? But Yeah, exactly, Pedro. I said that. I said that. I said I realised he he's failed four figures in a row, but I didn't need to fail the first one. Because killing the failing the first one kind of kills the hope, doesn't it, you know? But then. It worked out all right, ish. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, the orc throw would have meant you'd have still had four rerolls instead of two. He must have gained a reroll from the kickoff because he, he he's played quite well. He couldn't have had four rerolls. That's crazy. He's red dice in it. Yeah, he could have set up it on offence, that's true. Yeah, yeah, it was a blitz so he couldn't pass it, thanks God. Oh, man, he was lucky there, wasn't he? Lucky there. Just quietly. Is he in range? Yeah, he is. Can't re roll it either with only one. Oh, Wrestle! Wrestle did something! Oh, you fuckhead! It had to go into his tackle zone. Holy shit. be able to uh yeah I knew I was giving up that surf obviously but then it's still a two dice without block isn't it could have could have sucked a reroll out of him no oh, god <sighs> no it's not looking that good is it now no two dead blockers <laughs> two dead blockers no players left he can blitz him pick it up secure it Maybe I should have gone for the pickup two two four here the other turn. I mean that would have just been the win if it had worked. With a reroll, obviously would have gone for it hundred percent. Nah, he's not gonna fail. I mean, to be fair, he did, he did, he did have to minus two dice and dodge away and pick it up and everything, and then he had to get that perfect scatter. And then, if the scatter hadn't been in the tackle zone of the uh, orc lineman, I would have, I would have rerolled the dodge out then. Oh god! I mean, doesn't he roll these dice? Does he? And of course, he gets, he gets all these kills after the second half, so the the fucking guy doesn't come on. But sucked a reroll for the turn, which is alright. Mm. 
Yeah, he was unlucky before. Yeah, yeah he was obviously unlucky to fail four, four pickups. Failing two wasn't that unlucky. Wow, this is fucking nuts. You can't do that. You can't just free up a strength four guy. That's horrible. That is terrible. That's like Duncan Zold level if he fucking makes that dodge there with no rerolls. Holy shit. I gotta fucking one dice him into a two dice, haven't I? I got no team left. <laughs> Some reason I thought I'd get be getting assist when I did that. Oh, there you go, one roll the six anyway. Yeah, true, I don't I don't Pedro. But yeah, I guess that's game over now. Oh well. It was fun while it lasted today, eh, this Brett team. <laughs> I guess I should have just dodge it into two dice then. Rather than GFI into one dice with Wrestle. Well, no, it's 33% instead of 30. Maybe I should have reroll. I couldn't reroll the one dice. So it's still, the one dice was still 33% instead of 30. So it's still better to one dice. And could have rerolled the one dice though. I guess what I should have done was not have all the not have all the blockers die in one game. Um, I guess I should have gone for the two two four. But it's easy to say that now, isn't it? Um, it is easy to say that now. But he only needed a push from the minus two D, and then it cleared it, didn't it? Whereas if I'd just gone for the two two four, maybe another one. Yeah, it's not a good matchup, no. I don't think I could have even GFI'd in the assist, though. Because I'd have to dodge into it as well. I really don't think I could have GFI'd in the assist. Because I hit from, like, I hit from behind him, you know. So, I followed there, and then I'd have had to dodge and GFI, so I couldn't really GFI into the assist. I'm pretty sure I couldn't. Could have failed in the crown, I mean, fucked. But I was fucked anyway, wasn't I? Brett's against Orcs. Pace the ball. I don't think I could do it, that's what I'm saying, VIPs. Sleep, sleep, I think I just don't think I could, literally couldn't, because I hit him from here and then pushed him to here, so if I don't follow my GFI, he had a player here, so I, I just couldn't have got the assist with the GFI, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm basically almost certain that I could not have GFI'd into an assist, because I would have done it. Yeah, maybe it was right to not go for it. I mean, with a reroll, it would have been 100% right to go off the pickup, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Or at least base the ball, so there'd be two tackle zones, so even if you got the push, there'd have still been a 4 plus and another dodge. So maybe I could have just gone, got another tackle zone on the ball, but then he would have, then that would have got his, left his blitzer to come in and do stuff. Yeah, I'd already GFI'd once, yeah. I'd already GFI'd once, that was the problem.
I oh, know. I think I had to pop the ball. I think I was happy with two dicing with the wrestler. Because obviously if I powered him, it basically can't be in the tackle zone of the Rhino. And if I don't power him, oh. it, if it was three out of eight, it should be in the tackle zone of the Rhino. But I had the dodge pickup option. If I'd had, if I'd, if it wasn't in the tackle zone of the line, I would have rerolled the dodge to get out and score. So, yeah, yeah, two more movements that you don't have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be a Brett one turner. No. It's finally, he finally is mighty blows thing things but that that's unfair though isn't it having three uh I don't know there's only two two blockers die is a bit harsh I think Making a dodge would have been alright, wouldn't it? Man, he failed four pickups, so yeah. Yeah, he was unlucky to give us the shot. The only thing was... I guess if he'd had these armour breaks, I couldn't have stopped him playing like a, a normal defence. But giving it up kind of made me commit, didn't it? And I used to reroll to even get that kind of commitment. So I don't know. Hopefully one goblin, hopefully. The chaos are going strong. 13 4 0. And starting to look like a chaos team. But I felt really ill today, so Yeah, it draws fine. I mean that's why I chose to receive, you know. Figured he's gonna beat the fuck out of us eventually, so Like if this had been the first half it would have been a loss, wouldn't it? If I'd kicked and this had happened. <laughs> it's game over, second half, he wins 2 0. So. Because I feel ill as fuck, maybe. Yeah, I answered that. <laughs> God, look at that, just irrelevant foul. Just kills my guy. Wow, what a motherfucker. I guess it saves him from a rock because it's it is his reception. Yeah. Looks like the birds are done. Team deaded. Well done being Burt's with Orcs. Yeah, Ducky. A dead, two dead, two dead blockers and a dead blitzer. So, <laughs> team death in game three. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't even a relevant foul because he had the. Uh, it was turn sixty. Uh, you know, he had the kick off. It's just annoying, and I, I'm, I don't begrudge him doing it. It's just annoying that it fucking kills your guy, isn't it? Like it's annoying that it's a perm. That's all. I'm, I'm deleting this team. I don't even need to do anything anyway. Didn't fucking confirm. Oh, 
if I could spray foul him, why not? He fouled me. What would Ducky do? Maybe he would have done, maybe they'd gone for the pickup. Maybe maybe if Ducky was playing the minus two D wouldn't have worked. Shit. Alright. Well like a draw was good. A draw, to be fair, a draw against that was good. And still have the plus strength. This plus strength blitzer is really good, isn't it? So you could almost keep the team. Almost. But holy shit. The lead is dead. Minus movement. Which isn't technically isn't dead. And he's niggling, which technically isn't dead. And he's niggled, which technically isn't dead. <laughs> yeah, 18 if he breaks versus one, the drives fair, man. <laughs> Glue factory. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty banged on, isn't it? But the strength four, the strength four blitzer is just like, you know, maybe worth keeping the team for, isn't it? And 2-1-0 is, is still all right, isn't it? Like, really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine players. Oh, no, except he's, he's got Niggle as well. <laughs> so I could sack these. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh that is a better start than the Chaos team, yeah! <laughs> Holy shit. Right, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.